Hi guys, you're welcome back to Web Technologies. You are still on the Web Material Design Form set. This time we will be improving more on the contact form, in which we will use the PHP mailer to send to send the form details to the site owner email address. So I'll be showing you how to integrate this, and we're going to create a sendmail.php file, which is actually going to be triggered uh, at the send of the contact form, which is actually going to sit at the form action in the HTML file. But I'll be talking more on of the send mail.php going to our ID, which is bracket IO, you get to see the PHP uh, code. First of all, you open the PHP tag and we have the site owner's email variable, which is pointing to uh, an email address string. So you can actually replace this with your own email address. We have the site owner's name uh, pointing to the name. So you replace with your name. Now we're going to uh, get some files or some input data from the index.html. Let's quickly look at the index.html, which is going to be the contact form. Can you get to see? The contact form over here uh, we have um, the send mail as the form action now we have some fields which is the full name email address subject and message so at the click of the send button the send mail the php will be triggered so our most focus will be on the send mail php now we're going to post the contact name uh, we're going to filter and sanitize the string the same thing goes for the contact email, we sanitize the email, the subject, we sanitize the string, and the contact message, we sanitize the string because that's a string data type. The error will be empty, empty string as, as at present. So they are still going to we're still going to pass some value into this uh, during the course of the uh, application running. Now there's a string length. We get the length of the name if it's less than two that's this is a sort of validation uh a server side validation we've done the front end validation which is javascript now you're going to do another validation which is called the server side validation using php now it's checking for the length of the name uh string if it's less than two it's going to bring out an, an error that the please enter your name so your name length the alphabet of the name should not be less than two. The same thing goes for the email, it's checking the match. So this is a regular expression uh, to actually check the validity of your of an email address. So based on the email value being passed in. So the error will be please enter a valid email address. So this particular error um variable that was created earlier will be populated with these error messages the same thing goes for the subject if the length is less than two it's going to see please enter a subject for message it shouldn't be less than two it's going to say please leave a comment now if if there's no error whatsoever there's no error what will happen let me try to collapse this it's going to require once which is worth the php mailer we have this folder the php mailer and it's going to call the php the class.php mailer which is this particular class class.php mailer this is the particular class that is being called which is uh, actually from php mailer you can download these get to the PHP mailer website and try to download uh, their working files. So back to the sendmail.php. The sendmail.php. Now we're going to create an object called the mail. What about we instantiate the new PHP mailer class? We call the address, we add the address, the site owner's email, which was initialize earlier and the site owner's name if it's html true 
Now we're going to construct the body or the, the format of how the email will be sent from the email, the name, subject, which is the value passed from the form that's from this particular person, which is the name, because you're going to fill in the name in the form uh, input session from the name so it's going to be the name the subject which is going to be the subject of the contact and the body which will be the message so it's going to actually reconstruct uh the html tag that the same name which is the name the same email the email and the same message so this is just going to be like a success you now after the email has been sent successfully so it's going to actually echo echo this the send message which is the send function we construct a div tag to actually echo out success now that ends the if statement so else if probably there is an error somewhere we are still going to handle those errors the first error is the name so it's going to actually trigger an alert uh from the alert danger you know so it's going to pass in the name as the error if the email is the error it pass in the email same thing goes for the subject the message and it's going to echo those response which is either the message subject email or name so you can actually improve more on this probably create uh, uh the background do a lot of tweak to it you know this is just a simple php file whereby we just embed some html tags into them but the main focus should be on the site owner's name which was declared earlier the site uh owner's email and how to get those string files from the form and uh how to build we actually build um the body structure which is here when we build the body structure of the mail you know where we we require once the php mailer class the php mailer we instantiate the mail and uh, we build out the structure of how the mail is going to be sent so these are the most important session of this particular sendmail.php after doing this you need a server uh, php only runs at the server side javascript can run uh, on your on your browser but php needs uh, a backend server so you can either use a local host which is xamp or wamp i actually use a live server you know i've always been using that because of my tutorials on android you know and uh i actually upload these files so you need to upload these files you can upload them you can use wamp just feel free to play around with them just upload these files upload them down to uh, the server which are actually uploaded to this particular uh link server so you need to get the link and uh you have to point the browser to the link no idsp.ak.gov.ng or slash offline sync for slash index.html so afterwards let's test out the contact another refresh let's test out the contact we click on the contact button so i need to pass in the first input is the full name let's call it um John Thomas second is the email address Thomas at gmail.com what's the subject testing out the contact form Now we have let's speed up at least 
the message. The concept firm uses PHP mailer to send a request to a website owner I think that's okay so you click on the send button to actually send these details so you can say thanks John Thomas your message has been sent you can decide to change the background change the URL of this particular uh, display can you notice my email address which is the YK at yahoo.com has triggered that there is a message immediately the message pushed to it if you notice it actually popped out that there's a message so i will click on it to open it can we see john thomas testing the contacts send name let's click on it and see details the sender name john thomas the sender email thomas at gmail.com the sender message, the contact form uses PHP mailer to send a request to a website owner. Can you see how straightforward this is? Simple and straight to the point. So get to use PHP mailer to send contact details. It can be a uh, form, you know, it's a normal, it's not only contact. Uh, can you use it for? Can you use it for form? You can use it for questionnaires you can actually use it for random sampling you know so get to use uh, this particular library very very robust useful to uh, deliver your contact details to the corresponding location a site owner or the necessary portal that needs the data thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this uh, session don't forget to subscribe to my channel there's a lot to come from web technologies uh wordpress laravel python jquery javascript php a lot to learn in this particular uh channel don't go anywhere please subscribe to this channel thank you very much and have a lovely day bye bye